Welcome to Besiege Bots, the real home of robotic combat in Besiege. In this video, we're going to cover the important things you might need to know as a new or returning fan to our videos. We're going to be covering two main topics, our tournament format and structure, and our judging and combat rules. First, we'll start with the tournaments. Our tournament structure received an overhaul leading into 2020, with it being decided that four tournaments would be held throughout the year. As we approached the end of 2020, however, we decided to remove a few weight classes, most notable of which was the Featherweights, which featured in SBC 2020. This was to help accommodate an easier time for me as the organizer, and to be able to better help each tournament have its own distinct feel. So that brings us to 2021, and how the tournament circuit will operate going forward. Our four tournaments going forward are, in order of appearance in the calendar, Heavyweight Havoc in January-February, Spring Bash Cup in April-May, Super Heavyweight Slaughter in July-August, and finally, Middleweight Mayhem in October-November. Now, I would like to talk about each tournament's format a little bit. First up is Heavyweight Havoc, which in keeping with tradition from the first Heavyweight Havoc back in 2018, will feature a 36-bot fight card style format. What this means is that after all 36 bots have been entered, each bot receives randomized opponents for 3 1v1 matches and 1 three-way rumble. After all the fight card matches have been completed, the 16 bots with the best records will advance to a seated single elimination bracket. If there are tiebreakers required to determine the final few slots, the bots will be seated into a mini bracket with the winners advancing to the tournament. The top 16 bracket will consist of a straight single elimination style until the semi-finals where the losers will compete in the fight for third and the winners will compete in a best of three to determine the champion. The second tournament on our circuit is the Spring Bash Cup, which will continue to hold the distinction as the only tournament to feature multiple weight classes, which going forward will be our two smallest weight classes, the Lightweights and Beetleweights. This tournament will follow the same structure as Spring Bash Cup 2020, which is two separate 24 bot brackets, beginning with the first round of the tournament, the Preliminaries. Each Preliminary is a three-way fight, or Rumble. The winner of the Rumble moves on to the round of 16, while the two losers move into the Redemption round. The matchups in the Redemption round and round of 16 are randomized as to avoid repeating matchups. After that point, the bracket is set and the tournament becomes single elimination until the semi-finals where the losers will face off in the fight for third and the winners compete for the championship. The third tournament on our circuit is Super Heavyweight Slaughter, going from our two smallest weight classes to the biggest. Super Heavyweight Slaughter features a nearly identical system to Spring Bash Cup, However, it has 48 bots in a single weight class as opposed to two weight classes with 24 each. Other than that fact, the tournament runs the exact same, with the only difference being a loser's rumble held between the four bots that lost in the quarterfinals to determine bragging rights amongst the teams. Our final tournament of the year is Middleweight Mayhem, featuring our middleweight class in an eight group round robin format featuring 32 entrants. To briefly explain what that means, once all the entrants are decided, they will be randomized into eight groups where each bot will fight each other one time. The two bots with the best records from each group at the end of those fights will move through to the top 16. This also means that Middleweight Mayhem will be the only tournament to feature no three-way rumble matches. The top 16 will be decided by having the winner of each group take on the runner-up from one of the other groups on the opposite side of the bracket, as to avoid repeating matchups unless both bots from one group make it to the 5 for 3rd or final. The final, just like in all other tournaments, will be a best of 3. That just about covers it for our tournaments. I just wanted to give a quick disclaimer once again that this will be the case going forward for the tournaments that have 2021 in the title, but will not affect the tournaments that have 2020 in the title as they took place last year before the changes. Now we can move on to the combat and judging rules. First we will begin this segment with an explanation of the combat rules and then we will finish the video up with an explanation of the judging criteria. A robot may only pin and hold their opponent for up to 10 seconds. If a pin is held intentionally for more than 10 seconds, the offending bot is disqualified. 
In a case where two robots are stuck together and thus unable to break a perceived pin, we will try to get the two bots separated by outside intervention. If it cannot be done safely, the match will be judged to the point of the sticking. Flipper robots are not allowed to juggle their opponent indefinitely. After two throws, it will be counted as a pin and they will have 10 seconds to continue flipping before they have to let their opponent land. Competitors may not intentionally avoid their opponent by maneuvering around them for more than two minutes, or they will avoid their aggression score should the match go to a judge's decision. A robot is considered knocked out if it can no longer show proper intended movement. Flailing around using your weapon after your drivetrain is immobile is not considered intended. Once the robot is considered immobile by the judge, it is given a 10 count to attempt to show movement. If it cannot respond in time, it is declared the loser. If a robot falls or is thrown out of the arena, it is considered an Uta or out of the arena KO. If a robot falls or is shoved into the pit and touches the bottom, it is considered a pit KO. Both of these types of KOs are instantaneous. If a match goes the full 4 minutes, the match is scored on 4 criteria by the judge. Those criteria being aggression, control, damage, and style. Aggression is scored by how much the competitors chase their opponent with the intent of initiating combat. Aggression score also includes weapon hits. Aggression is worth 15 points. Control is scored by how much the competitors were able to take away control from their opponent. Putting their opponent onto hazards is also included in this score. Good control of the robots is expected of the competitors, so good driving does not directly fall under this category. Control is also worth 15 points. Damage is scored by how much damage a competitor deals. The score starts like a weighing scale at 5-5. The more damage the opponent takes, the more it swings in favor of the competitor. Self-damage, however, is also included in the damage score for your opponent, so self-destructive driving is not rewarded. Damage is worth 10 points. Style is based on how hard the competitors try to make a show out of the fight, doing intended backflips, good slams, dodging an Uta or pit KO, and self-riding all fall under this category. Style is worth 5 points. The points total to 45, meaning it will never be able to end in a tie. Whoever ends up winning the most points, wins. If a match ends in a double KO, the match result is judged until the point of the KO. On the rare occurrence that all three bots make it to the end of the rumble, the points are split between all three robots. Now, with all that having been touched on, hopefully you can all have a better idea of what to expect going forward and no massive intros will be needed at the start of every tournament. The next tournament we're working on will be the Summer Slamathon and it will feature super heavyweights and beetleweights. We hope you enjoyed this explanation video, and if you did, please leave a like, comment if you have any additional questions, and consider subscribing. If you want to join our community, follow the Discord link in the description. And from everyone in the Besiege Bots Discord, have a fantastic day, and we'll see you soon.